Good afternoon YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. We are in a temperate greenhouse today and I want to give you a quick tour of some Venus flytraps and then do a little bit of pollinating with you. So this is going to be eventually my, my Venus flytrap house. I mean it already is but um, there's some Saracenia sharing some space in here as well as a plumeria tree and some melons for the garden and some other stuff like that. A few orchids and that sort of thing. So, kind of getting right to it. It is a hot, sunny greenhouse like um, I've never owned before. This one is just amazing. It's in an awesome location and it gets hot in here. I will have to work on some venting for the summertime. Right now I just have the door behind me which I can um, latch open on a hot day like today. It's closed right now just because it's a little noisy out there. But we have some propagation going on here of a little tiny fly traps and it's going quite well this is some of the stuff I've repotted some of the stuff I haven't some of the stuff was growing indoors now um, it's back out stuff like that um, more seedlings and stuff like that over here when I say seedlings they're all divisions these aren't seedlings at all um, and yeah like I said a few um, Saracenia here nice looking little things and plumeria tree here's a plumeria update for you as well i guess because this is where the tree is living now and it um is just insanely loving it in here um we have one little bloom spike starting here and yeah this thing had a rough winter and a rough spring it was outside and like just barely above freezing temperatures and it had nice big leaves on it when we got here because we just moved to this location right so um I threw it in here about a month ago and it's just taken off. And so with this, I have this the structure was here. I quickly put some um poly up and turned it into a greenhouse. I will eventually be getting like a polycarbonate roof for this and maybe some polycarbonate panels for the sides. That way I can invent it properly easy and stuff like that. But for now, let's get on with the Venus flytrap tour and pollinating. So some cool stuff here. This is my cheerleader, although it has never produced a cheerleader, a pom-pom. Cross tooth, Jaws Smiley, Kim Il Sun, Kim Jong Un, some little B-52s, some, what do you got here, Titan, crocodiles like barely coming back. It's flowering, but it did just decided to like die right back right before um, it, it decided to flower. I don't know. That guy must have eaten something. That's ST Draco. It's nice. Um, fake Dracula. Kind of cool. Freaky star down there is kind of being freaky. I bet there's a microdent. Here's microdent. Um, sawtooth. Here's my big one from the um, Death Cube videos. So, if you remember that, there was a four-part video series where I rescued a pretty nice Venus flytrap. And um, it has turned out to be one of the most awesome plants I have. Um, so, I have... It's it's not like a B-52. These little parts of the leaf here are way too wide. The traps are nice and big. It, it stays hugging the ground. Um, it's cramming itself against here. I bet you it's got my biggest traps on, though. And so for now, I have named it Cobra Fangs because this kind of looks like a cobra. And then it's got some big fangs on it. Just for now to differentiate it from everything else. This one's looking really smoking nice. What is that one? Tiger Fangs, yeah. Beautiful. So anyways, we have lots of stuff in bloom. I have a little spider living here that causes me spider webs. It's not spider mites, it's spider like the arachnid. Um, DCXL has produced these huge, huge um, flower spikes. They're like daffodil sort of thing. Um, King Henry is just kind of coming back. It's got some flower spikes. King Henry is, always flops for me. And even the flower spikes, the only thing flopping basically in here. Some nice reds coming out. Um, green dragon is there. Some nice red dragons over there. These ones are really nice. Pretty damn red. And so, yeah, we are going to be pollinating today, and then I'm going to finish up this video. So I've been in here pollinating. These are going to be called open pollinated Venus flytraps. 
I'm just going for some seeds. So you can see these ones have successfully pollinated here. Um, this one here on my Cobra Fangs, we're calling it. Huge pods, like massive pods. So that's awesome. And you can, you can feel they're hard. And so what I use is, this is my Q-tip. It's kind of, um, it's been used for a while in here now. It's got all kinds of pollen on the tip because I'm just open pollinating. I'm not actually um, making any crosses th that I need to keep track of or anything like that. So notes for these, if you um, cross a cheerleader with a cheerleader, the seeds from a cheerleader are not called cheerleader. They're just, um, you could call it cheerleader cross cheerleader or B52 cross B52. But remember when you're dealing with a cultivar, you can only get the B52 from a division of the B52. You cannot create a cultivar via seeds. So I just wanted to um, put that disclaimer out there because a lot of people are under the assumption that if you buy B52 seeds, you're getting a B52 plant and you're not. It will have some of the traits, but not all of the traits. So now let's go um, look at some flowers here. This is a good array of flowers here. And we're going to start with this one here and we're going to zoom in quite quickly or closely. And what we're actually looking for, I'm going to show you one that's ready to be pollinated. This one in the center here is ready to be pollinated. You can see this stamen is quite um, fuzzy. It's right in the dead center. So that's what we're focusing on. The pollen is pretty easy to find on the anthers. It's all around the outside, right? But if you look at this freshly open one, this stamen is not fuzzy. That one's got a nice fuzzy stamen. That one has a kind of fuzzy stamen. It's probably already been pollinated. This one's got a fuzzy stamen. So that's what we're looking for. If, if they're ready to be pollinated, they will have a fuzzy stamen in the middle. If not, you're kind of wasting your time doing it. So I go around and I look at all these and I try to find the fuzzy little stamens there. And then I'm going to do this left-handed, but I will just go in. And keep in mind, this has been dabbled in all kinds of fly traps here that are open. And I'm just going to, I'm grabbing some pollen at the same time and hitting that fuzzy little stamen at the same time. And then I can go off to the next plant. And um, that's got a fuzzy little stamen there. Looks like it's yesterday's because it's already closing up. And then a perfect example of one that's not quite ready yet. See how the stamen in the center there is not fuzzy? Right, we can see that. Waste of time pollinating. You can grab some of the pollen from it, but um, we don't want to actually waste our time or our pollen pollinating that yet. And so I just go around on all of these guys looking for fuzzy stamens, and I do that. And do that. Super simple. And I try to hit them um, at least once a day. And as long as the stamen is fuzzy, I like I will hit it again. Because every time I um, go in there to hit a stamen, I pick up pollen from something else. So these guys are all just going to be like cool cultivar crosses. And the best I can do for naming these guys will be I will take the mother plant and then just call it open pollinated. And that way you have some cool um, stuff like B52 open pollinated and um, crocodile teeth open pollinated and sawtooth open pollinated. Stuff like that. DCXL, when they eventually flower, open pollinated. And yeah, so that is a greenhouse tour here. We can have a quick look at some Saracenia before we go. But um, really this was more about the fly traps than the Saracenia. This area over here has got some miners in. There's an Anthro Free Miner. It's really nice. One of the gems in my collection. These are seed grown by me. They're looking awesome too. The seed grown plants are just wicked. Look at that. Beautiful. This one um, is supposed to be an Okatee Giant, but I think it's just a minor miner. It's not very big. And um, this one is Okatee Giant from Watchtower. It's new, so it's um, not as big as it could be, but that thing I think is going to get huge. Uh, Cytocyna Anthophree. I got this late last year, so it's throwing off a couple nice pictures on it. Very cool. And yeah, these are just basically some Morii's and some um, Atroperps and Ruby Corporas and stuff like that. So, nice Snell's Ghost. 
This one here is a Brooks hybrid. This is one of my bigger plants. It's definitely tall compared to um, like this Atroperp that's right beside it. And um, it's not as big as it could be yet. That's probably only 30 inches tall. Leah Wilkerson did that pretty good this year. It's producing a third pitcher down there now, but um, it's still got last year's pitchers on because I haven't got to cutting it off, but you can see the size difference. Very big. So anyways, yeah, things are doing good and it's just like hot in here. I am dripping, dripping with like sweat basically. So just the way they like it. And yeah, so that is a temperate greenhouse tour for the Venus flytrap greenhouse. I'm gonna open this door now and I'm letting in some fresh air and yeah. So anyways, I hope you liked this video and if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching. Bye guys.